I love shooting footage, I love doing audio stuff and interviewing people, interacting. Um, so it's really just a full uh, shebang of coolness. <laughs> So information systems, we offer quite a lot of subjects. So the, I suppose from second year, students really start doing the major. So the beginning of second year, they do commercial programming. We teach databases. Um, our, that's got to do with data and storing it on a computer. We teach business intelligence. Um, and then our major course is systems analysis and design. So information systems is all about designing systems. So if you imagine uh, you're building a house, you need an architect to design it. So information systems students learn how to design software systems. We also have a, a design innovation lab that we've developed, we've recently launched, that has a lot of interesting technologies that we expose our students to that can excite their mind, can help them connect their dreams with the technologies. So I think the, the combination between information systems and humanities in a format of informatics has potential to create really a different kind of students which I tend to think they'll be very special, very exceptional students because of their way of thinking. These are students who have a very solid grounding in human affairs, understanding the social issues, but they now also have some technical knowledge and we know technology Technology is about problem solving and, and it's about innovation. So that combination is really important. Um, it's quite nice if you're a, um, a humanities student and you do informatics, it means you've, you've got a very high chance of getting a job. I mean, our third year students, by the middle of third year, they've all been recruited. Companies as well and organisations are wanting students who've got um, a humanities background and understand technology. Technology pervades all parts of human life. Film studies is basically like English, I guess, where you, instead of studying literature, books, um, you study films. So it's about understanding film language, how film stories are told, and just encountering amazing films from around the world and with a particular focus on Africa and the African continent. The media and writing major also equips students for a more theoretical understanding of media and its role in society. So while training students to write well for a wide range of careers, um, it also helps them to kind of see the problems with media at the moment, which I think we're all aware of, the way in which media is kind of um, grappling with issues like the truth and, uh, you know, what's the role of journalism in contemporary society, uh, what happens when we're finding our social media addictive, um, kind of how do we address sexism and kind of abuse of women in particular in uh, the media industries. So that kind of critical perspective is what you get from the media and writing major. The combined degree pretty much was designed in form and media. They came to us and said their graduates need much more technology. Um, and so we've now offered these students to do our courses. And it makes sense. I think all careers need technology. There's a sense that technology is responsible for very many exciting opportunities, uh, which people who understand society and understand people, understand communication, they're the most likely to be able to exploit those opportunities. The creators of new technology are also the creators of new societies. Right, so this is a great option at UCT because you're getting the best of two different very strong departments. So looking at film and media together with information systems it's quite unusual to get them working so closely together to develop a program that works specifically for a whole new area of jobs. To use a practical example, 
Uh, one of the great projects that I had the privilege to supervise uh, in 2017 in the Interactive Media Lab um, was a project called Queer Me Out. So that project uh, was conceived of as an interactive documentary. It had a video component to it where people were speaking to camera about their personal narratives as queer people who are indigenous language speaking in South Africa. It had a beautiful visual um, component to it um, because we had an interactive designer who came up with the sketches because that's very important, user experience and user interfaces. So the Queer Me Art project and all the other students' senior research projects, uh, really you could feel the integration of all the different um, majors that you had done throughout your three-year degree. Uh, really gave you an opportunity to exercise all the skills that you'd learned. And, you know, uh, it taught me a lot about group work and the real world <laughs> that you're going to have to um, integrate into after you finish university. If you think about it from a media perspective and an IS perspective, you put those things together you have content that people enjoy seeing and then a system that people enjoy using and I just think that's such a beautiful thing. Yeah, so for instance, the Emir Yanda documentary, um, I was director of photography. I was using footage from a Sony NX5 and then from a Canon, uh, my personal ATD camera and then using that footage to create uh, this five minute narrative of this woman um, who has a daughter but is also a former UCT student and how she uses her art to basically sustain her life and just how what she's gone through her challenges what I do so that's under Amy Ayanda and then Amy Ayanda Studios is the product side. you grow a lot because you know theoretically you also have to think about the ethics of what you're doing um, the law about it behind it and you know what you can and can't do how you can push the limits in certain ways um, how you can do things for social justice but also how you can put things together for corporates and brands and I just really think it's such a great program. Hi, I'm Barbara. Um, I used to study at UCT. I did my um, degree there as well as my postgraduate. Um, I currently work as a product owner in the software development industry. So when I completed my degree, um, my undergraduate degree, uh, we didn't actually have the option to do a combined degree in information systems. Um, and when I started working, I really wish that I had that opportunity. Um, working as a product owner in software development, you really need that holistic view of software. Um, where in the humanities department, I really learned a lot about um, the front end, the user experience, the design, how something should um, create an emotional kind of connection to the user through design, but I didn't have the technology background around how those systems actually work. Um, so I think if I really had completed that combined degree, um, I would have fast-tracked my career a lot um, easier in terms of becoming a, a product owner and building up all that experience. Hi, I'm Glenn Gillis. I'm the CEO of Sea Monster. We're an animation and gaming company based in Cape Town. And what we look to do is use our visual storytelling skills and our game skills to help large companies and public sector agencies to drive change at scale. We have to combine these things. I look for that in everybody that works here that you've worked in a restaurant and you understand what customer service is about while studying and you can you know write and you know play the piano and whatever it is because we want those well-rounded things and the good news is it's not only us it's companies like Amazon and Apple and the very best employers in the world are looking to say you know it's not about a piece of paper it's about a well-rounded understanding about people and humanity and technology and how it influences them but certainly it's not just about technology. So yeah, there's no end to reasons why a combined degree is critical, critical to, to the way that we need to prepare ourselves for the future world of work. You are building something which you know is necessary because of your research in the area. You understand the context in which this project will be used, and so it's a fantastic combination of a research paper together with a creative project. And obviously you can also then continue to the very highly sought after information systems honours. So we have students who've gone in that direction and you know that's obviously a route into a different, very different kind of employment, but something that many of our students discover 
they've got the appetite for that. And of course for my media, if you do the combined degree, you can do honours in form and media, you can apply for that. Yeah. So it depends on your other major. So in most, most students in humanities will choose two majors if they're not doing the combined degree. And so they, in most cases, have a choice of which honours they want to do at the end of third year. Right, so if you've decided you're really excited and keen to do the combined degree, um, what you need to be aware of is that not all students are accepted to do it. So um, we've kind of given you a bit of space to prepare a portfolio for us to impress us with your creative work. We don't expect you to have prior background from school or families with lots of cameras or anything like that. We do give you 18 months at UCT to build up a portfolio. So you can join the film society, you can write newspaper articles for Varsity, um, you can even be part of the media courses where we teach things like storyboarding, mobile video making. These are all the kind of things that in your first 18 months at UCT create uh, your portfolio. But essentially once you've been here for a year and a half, uh, we'll want to see what your grades are looking like. So we're looking for students with good overall grades um, because it's quite a heavy course workload. And then we're also interested in someone who shows a creative spark in some way. So we look at the, the marks and the creative portfolio together. Some students are stronger academically and others just blow us away with the creative work that they've been doing. So if you want to find out more about our combined degree, what you need to do is find or download um, the Humanities Handbook, look for the BA in Film and Media Production program, and then within that program uh, you're interested in the digital media and informatics stream that's essentially our combined degree. So the combined degree allows you to do media and writing, the creative courses in multimedia production and also the technical training from informatics.